Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're checking out Anasta, Anasta, I don't know, I suck at pronunciations, you guys know that, but we're checking her out. Really cool Morley unit. Once again, design is crazy. I, I love this design. Like, this is a cool design. She gives me sort of, uh... A little bit of Saurus type vibes. Now, we'll go through a kit and talk about that why, but you know, she, she brings that sort of consistent heal to the entire team. Um, it does have quite a high healing capacity in the basic test that we can do here, but once again, as always, we'll have to test it out in the future. But, you know, give me Saurus vibes, but I... I'm not, I'm really not too sure. I think she could be really good, but we'll have to wait and see, because, you know, the meta's pretty set, but... Let's jump into her skill. So the ultimate. Uh, she breaks nearby enemies' shields, dealing 280% attack rating uh, to them twice. So 280% twice, uh, with the final strike knocking down all enemies before her, dealing 360. So we've got 2 times 280, 1 times 360, and it turns into 320, 320, and 400. So it's a pretty big, what's that, 1,400? 40 multiplier which is quite nice if she strikes the um if if she if she strikes the enemy she is currently in confrontation with which is here in a sec you'll see that in another ability uh the confrontation effect will be extended by four seconds so like it seems like a really big chunky attack now the attack range isn't huge for the aoe on it but it's still something um this one uh she deals 220 percent attack rating damage to all enemies before her reducing their shield values by 30 percent for seven seconds if there are two or fewer targets within the attack range the damage dealt is increased to 340 percent of attack rating and enemy shields value are reduced by 50 percent so i'm assuming this is talking about actual shields like lucius shields um is the way i understand it. it's supposed to be a counter to shields which is very niche but still um and then we just get some damage increases but uh and the value reduces redu reduction so that's that ability another sort of damage based ability this one confrontation this is the one that's referred to in the ultimate she initiates a confrontation with the nearest enemy target immobilizing them for seven seconds that's immobilizing not stunning while the uh other nearby enemies are ter uh, yeah so i'm gonna restart this she gets in confrontation with one, roots them in place, and then other nearby enemies are terrified for 1.5 seconds. She prioritizes her attacks against the target she is confronting throughout the confrontation period and is immune to taunts, during which time her skills deal additional damage equal to 6% of the enemy's max health, but do not exceed 300% of her own attack rating and that's his skills so I'm assuming basic attacks are not included in that but I could be wrong because it reads skills uh, and then we get the upgrade of 9 seconds to the confrontation period we get 2.5 seconds for the terrifier nearby enemies which ain't too bad um, and then this one here the enemy target that is in confrontation with uh, her uh they basically they won't be able to get buffs uh unable to receive the majority of buffs they always say like the majority i'm not sure what's exempt from that but yeah that's what that that is then we have this one Mauler's prowess now this is how she starts with this combined with her furniture is how she starts healing her teammates or is it a signal i can't remember i think it's her furniture but she grants she gains two stacks of brawler's protection reducing the amount of damage she receives by 16 percent per attack and recovering 40 percent of her attack rating in health every second for six seconds not too bad this effect can be stacked up to two times if she receives damage that exceeds 10 percent of her max health from the enemy that she is currently in confrontation with one stack of brawler's protection is lost uh so I'm assuming she just gets that at the very start. Uh, and then when she gets into confrontation, you know, if she gets hit big by them, that's when it reduces. And initiates a counterattack that deals 320% attack damage to all nearby enemies. So if she does lose a stack, she's going to counterattack with some big damage. Um, and then here at level 3, she gets 3 stacks of it, and it can be stacked up to 3 times. So that's not too bad. When you get 3 stacks, reducing 16%, uh, what's that, 48% reduction? And recovering 120 percent attack rating per second it's not too bad um and then this one here when we look at the engraving each stack reduces the amount of damage she take recover receives by 20 percent so she gets up to 60 percent mitigation and recovers 60 percent of her attack rating uh every second for eight seconds which ain't too bad so 
And then we jump in to the signature item. Throughout the confrontation period, she gains 15 tenacity points and the duration of most debuffs she may be suffering from is uh, shortened by 15%. Uh, this one, if the number of enemies within her attack range is two or fewer, she will deal 20% more damage to them for seven seconds. Not too bad. Uh, throughout, this one just increases it to 30 and 30. Uh, and then this one, if the number of enemies uh, is few, two or fewer, she'll deal 37%, uh, 35% more damage to them. So increasing that damage. The syndrome doesn't seem like the most important thing. The furniture is where the magic is in the nine furniture. So three furniture, when she deals damage to the enemy target, she is currently in confrontation with she receives one stack of brawler protection this effect can be triggered up to once every five seconds so obviously when she's in that confrontation if she takes 10 percent of her max health she'll counter attack but lose a stack and then once every five seconds she's actually going to gain a stack back which is really nice then this is the big one for her this is where she gains her team utility when when she initiates a confrontation all allied heroes are granted two stacks of brawler's protection when allied heroes with brawler's protection deal damage to the enemy in confrontation with her they will immediately gain one stack of brawler's protection this effect can be used once every eight seconds brawler's protection will be removed from allies when they suffer damage from the confrontation target but they will not uh but they will not initiate a counter-strike against the target. This effect can be stacked up to two times. So this is this is where she's essentially giving... When, when she goes into that confrontation, her allies get that buff, giving them two stacks of the damage mitigation. Now, I'm assuming it gains the skill up version of those stacks, so they get 40% damage mitigation. I could be wrong on the skill up thing, but we'll wait and see. But then they're also going to recover 80% of her attack rating per second. And the only way for them to lose those stacks is the one target that she's in confrontation with um, is, is if that target does, da does the damage to them to them so like you need that target that's getting locked down to actually hit them which i don't think will happen too much so i think it's going to be like a reliable mitigation heal for the team so i think she's actually going to be really good with this now let's go in and test her sorry they they keep making character designs cooler and cooler but skill descriptions harder and harder <laughs> i just suck at reading this stuff so let's take a look let's start again let's start again on one time speed so let's get in so there, there's the confrontation. So the, the little ring around the enemy means that they're rooted in place. And this is the breaks their shields. I don't know if it's a defense break or like countering shields. There's that, there's the confrontation and the nearby enemies got feared. So, and you can see she's just like getting ticking heels, just ticking heels. Just not even a thing. And then we've got that big ult. Boom. And it looked like that cleave hit enemies behind her as well. Which is niche, but it's something. But yeah, you can see that shield break on them. Now, I'm, I don't know what this is. Like, is that a defense break? Uh, I'm not too sure. But anyway, that's her skill. So let's go in here and let's check her out. So let's do... This was one I just tested it with earlier. And I feel like it shows it pretty well. So let's go ahead with this. Let's go ahead with this. And wait till we see the numbers at the end of it. Um, so she gets a little bit low. She gets a little bit low. She's in confrontation with Lucius at the moment. So the cool thing about that is Lucius isn't going to deal the damage to her to make her lose stacks. I just wish there was a visual representation of the stacks a bit better so we could see those stacks happening. But if you look at her teammates, you can see they're all getting a consistent heal. Now, I purposely put no other healers on the team just so we could see these. So look at the Nara in the bottom corner, for instance. Just just check out the Nara. Look at, look at the Nara's healing. Like, it's not too bad for a back row unit that isn't getting heavily focused to be able to survive. Now, we obviously lost a chicken there. You got nuked. Um, get some big damage with that ult as well. So, I, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to scale, but it sounds really good that she can provide that mitigation to teammates along with the healing. It just sounds really strong. And then her damage multipliers sound all right. Plus, she has a bit of control where she locks an enemy in place, but then she also fear other enemies near them. Um, I just think it seems like a solid kit, and I really hope she's quite decent. Like, I feel like this is like, like, Maul's need some, like, like, good characters like this, because, like, I hope she's really good, because Maul's, like, they feel, I feel like they've got all the characters that, like, they're okay, but there's nothing, like, just, like, crazy. 
is is my vibe. So I'm hoping she goes places and gets into the meta because that's pretty cool. And look at like the, the healing done. Like it, it was a large amount of healing. It's pretty nice on the team along with that mitigation. So I'm keen to see what she can do. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.